Hi there. In this video, I'm going to give you some advice on how to compose a reference section for your Psychology Lab report. As with any piece of academic work, you will need to provide references for your Psychology Lab report. But the good news is, you don't have to do a separate reference list for each of the sections in your lab report. So for example, one reference list for the introduction, one for the method section, and so on and so forth. You just need to provide one reference list right at the end of your report after the discussion section. Let's have a look at how that works in practice. So I think the most useful thing I can do here is quickly take you through a references checklist and then invite you to have a look at the reference list in the example lab report which you can find a link to in the description for this video. I am making the assumption that you are using APA style here simply because that is the style most commonly used in psychology lab reports. But obviously if you are using a different style of referencing um, as required by your institution, then you need to make sure that the formatting um, of your reference section is uh, done appropriately. First of all, you should make sure that your reference section is clearly delineated via the use of a references section heading. You also need to make sure that your reference list is located in the appropriate place in your lab report, which is after the discussion section, but before the appendices. You do need to check through your lab report to make sure that if you've cited something, there is a corresponding entry for that citation in your reference list. In other words, you need to make sure that your reference list is complete. You should check over your reference list to make sure that each entry is compliant with APA style. And you do need to be a little bit careful here if you are using things like the reference generator in Google Scholar, because sometimes that will give you references that are missing a few details or otherwise incomplete. And also you need to make sure that the general formatting of your reference list is appropriate. So, you know, get the basics right, like it needs to be in alphabetical order by the surname of the first author. There should be a 1.27 centimeters of hanging indent and the text should be double spaced. If you're a little bit unsure about how to reference in APA 7 style, I do have a playlist that details how you reference different sources, for example, books, journal articles, websites, and so on, available for you to peruse. And I will put a link to that in this video. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please do hit the like button. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my channel? Just turn on the bell notifications if you want to know when I post new content. Thanks very much.